Today's cocktail recipe does need a name. I haven't got a name for this, but we've kind of got, we've got basically, we've got a 64% ABV overproof rum from the Isle of Man with some pineapple, some kind of a, a Angostura vibes, but not Angostura bitters. Ginger, oh my God, it's one of my favorite cocktails that I've made on this channel so far. Let's dive in. Hey, Rum friends, welcome back. And to all those that are new to the channel, hello and welcome. My name's Steve the Barman here on my green channel. I just do nothing but British scratch rums, cocktails, the odd tasting and mixers. Today's video is obviously a cocktail recipe. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But if you do, if you love me and you want even more of me in your life, I've got five five other YouTube channels. They will all be linked in the description below, all with their own different niches. So go and check them out. So the ingredients you're going to need to make this cocktail, the rum I've chosen, is the outlier. It's the hooligan. It, let's call it the hooligan. It's not, it's their hurricane. because It's quite windy on the Isle of Man, but it's their 64% ABV. <laughs> but I call it hooligan because it makes sense, doesn't it? It does make sense. So we've got we've got Hurricane Hooligan, uh, the Angostura de Amaro. Now I kind of wanted a little bit of extra sweetness in here without going the Angostura bitters route. You could do, you'll see that there. I'll explain why in a second. Um, so you've got different, there's kind of different ways to go there, but this is a lovely kind of liqueur to have on hand. Kind of think a, a different, it is different, but kind of think along the lines of like a pimento dram or something like that. It's essentially Angostura bitters in a liqueur form. That's, that's how it is. We, obviously with the liqueur, Cure. You've got a little bit of extra sweetness. Uh, I've got pineapple syrup. Now I do here in this studio, I do use ODK syrups quite a lot. I love the flavor profile of them. They are flavor forward, but the reason that's out there is because they're not necessarily sweetness forward. Okay, so a monin pineapple syrup would give you a lot more sweetness than what this would. So I'm going to use this in conjunction with a little bit of uh, cane sugar. But if you've got monin or various other brands, no other brand will be as flavor forward as this. They'll be sweeter, if you like. So that's why I've got that out there. Bob's ginger bitters. We want a little bit of ginger feistiness in there. Uh, I've got a lime, which I'm going to use half off. And then this, I've talked about this before, saline solution, essentially one to four ratio. In there is 20 grams of Cornish sea salt because Cornish sea salt is obviously better than Malden sea salt. Of course it is. Um, so we've we've got 20 grams of Cornish sea salt with, four, with uh, 80 grams of distilled or um, filtered water. Okay, Filtered water, it will last a damn sight longer than just tap water basically gets rid of all the impurities and that sort of stuff. Again, it's important to weigh it so you've got the exact sort of ratio um, as opposed to kind of measure it, if you like. You don't want 80 mil of water. You want 80 grams of water to 20 grams. So one to four is perfect for this kind of stuff. Now, the first bit we're going to do is going to muddle half a lime. So I'm just going to chop and quarter this. You'll see a glass here as well. I'm going to muddle it in to the glass, but I'm going to shake it in a cocktail shaker. I would normally kind of just muddle it in a cocktail shaker, but you guys obviously want to see what's going on. Then to that, I'm going to add 15 mil of the ODK pineapple syrup and then just five mil of my cane sugar syrup. Take your muddler and get all that lovely juice out of the half a lime and all that lovely flavor out of the zest. You want a kind of little bit of sugar in there just to kind of get that, so, or get all those kind of, um, make it easier to muddle essentially. Now I'm just going to carry on making it in this glass for the time being before I transfer it. So 45 mil of the hurricane rum, seven and a half mil of the Angostura de Amaro, two pipettes of about that much of the ginger bitters from Bob's, and then all you need of your saline solution is just five drops. Now I'm just going to transfer that to a shaker so I can shake it. Open gated pour back into your glass or your new glass of choice. Top it up with crushed ice. And garnish with a nice sprig of mint and then a dried pineapple slice. This is fantastic. I've made this two or three times now. I can't help but have a smile on my face when I drink it. Pineapple, sweetness is beautifully balanced. The rum, you've got the oomph from the rum. It's, you've got 45 mil there of a 64% rum. But you get those lovely pot still. And you can't, if you've ever tasted the, the island like Rick and Ian, if you have ever tasted their rums, you kind of know what I mean about their flavor. It's just a delicious flavor. But with that pineapple, 
with the uh, Angostura de Amaro that comes out there, which just gives it a bit more depth than what Angostura bitters would do. Ginger is now, oh, I, honestly, pineapple ginger is just a lovely, lovely cocktail. One of my favorites to date that I've made. Delicious.